The Naperville Swim Conference hosted its 55th annual swim meet on Friday, July 27th and Saturday, July 28th. This summer, the historic two-day event was hosted at Naperville North High School, featuring 20 teams with kids aged 8 and under to 18 swimming their way to success while friends, family, and coaches cheered along while showing off their club themes. It's just an incredible opportunity for our, our, our young kids, uh, high schoolers on down to 8 and unders um, that get a chance after practicing every day, five days a week for the last seven, eight weeks to come in and show their stuff and, and compete against their friends. Uh, for, for time drops. On night one, we saw kids from the age of 15 to 18 years compete for top times and new personal best. Two swimmers were familiar faces driving in a familiar pool with rising senior Jonathan Wang and recent graduate Haley Swatland, both members of the Naperville North swim teams and Crest Creek Country Club. Swatlin, a former Husky swimmer and lacrosse team member, was thrilled to swim one more time at her old stomping grounds while Wang uses the summer to prep for his senior campaign with the Blue and Orange. It just help you get started quicker. It's like you don't have to start from scratch again and then do a whole lot of conditioning. Like you already already like have at least half condition. So I think swimming over the summer, especially like a summer team, um, is really beneficial. I really thought the last time I'd ever swim out north was my last meet because usually this meet's at Central. So to ever have it at my high school this year was super fun and it's nice to have my last swim ever being here. Wang took first place in the 50-yard freestyle and the 100-yard IM while Swatland swam in the 50-yard butterfly and the 200-yard freestyle relay. Wabonzi Valley and tall grass swimmer Sam Lohman was another name who made a big splash in the 100-yard freestyle and helping his 200-yard freestyle and medley relay teams to first place finishes. Lohman wasn't done yet because he stayed on the pool deck on Saturday, coaching kids competing in the 14 and under races. Watching the next generation of local standouts enjoying the early years of their swimming journeys excites him as a current swimmer and coach. You get to really see how like their competitiveness and their joy for the sport, um, and it's super cool to give back to the community because, I mean, I started when I was four and I had these coaches um, to develop me to where I've gotten myself today as a swimmer. After two days of fun, the Tall Grass Lightning came out on top for a fifth straight year with 1,401 points, just ahead of the Saybrook Sharks, who took second place, and the Breckenridge Breakers finishing in third. The Crest Creek Cyclones and the Brookdale Buccaneers rounded out the top five. Many kids on the Lightning have been swimming with the team for a long time, so winning the annual swim meet has become the standard for the Tall Grass Club over the past half decade. We just win. It's just like that. We just win. It was just pretty awesome. The winning. Yeah, the winning. It's a lot more fun with your friends because like, you get to celebrate together. It like motivates me to go faster. As the Lightning continued its winning tradition, the meet was more than just about touching the wall first. The Naperville City Swim Meet was the capstone of another summer season full of hard work and success in and out of the water. Everybody likes to, to see a, a, a really great race, but it's also about improvement. It's learning to swim from a young age, getting better through hard work, seeing that pay off uh, with time drops. You know, it's the, all, it's the almighty time drop that somebody looks for. Whether it was a blue ribbon or a red ribbon, uh, if you got better, it's a giant win for, uh, for everybody. For Naperville News 17, I'm Patrick Cotto.